Strata here, coming back with another episode of Airport CEO, uh, a tutorial series. And, oh, they updated that graphic, obviously. Okay. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We left off with starting to build the vehicle checkpoint and all that, along with the service road. For uh, for us being able to oh they put uh, contract notifications up there okay all right so we still need to build a fuel station now as we stated um, this is a vehicle checkpoint uh, you have to have it. So that this side is facing the public road, and this side is a airport service road. Meaning public vehicles and whatnot can't go past this. What we are going to do is we're going to head to that service road, and it's going to be concrete. And we're going to make it about that long for now. Because it's going to come up. And it's going to be like that. And like that. And they're going to quickly build that out for us. As you can see, they're pretty much almost done. And that's it, they're done with that. So what we're going to do now... I'm going to check the tutorial really quick, see what we're going to do. Uh, we need a vehicle depot and a have gas fuel depot. Okay, so... Uh, the vehicle depot we get from my movies. I believe I'm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. I could have sworn I saw something. Ah, oh, decoration inside. Okay, alright. Moving on, we get the fuel depot from here. I do you want to put? And I am going to put it here. Also, a couple of. Uh, Have gas tanks. I guess where I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put that. Yeah, you probably guessed it. Uh, where is that? Could be in line, probably in structures. Oh, we have a larger aircraft tower now, that's nice. Ah, here it is, the vehicle depot. And that I'm going to place over here. 
What does it want us to do? Vehicle Depot. Alright, and while it builds, it should be done in a second, building that. My god, it's taking them an age and a half. Okay, there we go, there's our fuel depot. I hate that it's grass right there, they need to fix this. They need to fix it. I, they need to fix this. That's not grass. These, that, that's insane. But okay, but the graphic for that is, I think, is the same. I'm not sure. Anyway, back to the tutorial. What do they want us to do? Ah, operating fuel services. We need to, we need to purchase a fuel truck. We're gonna purchase more than one because. Um, we need to. Now for that, we just go to Contra. Oh! That's nice. Uh, for that, we go to Contract. See, yeah, they redesigned this while I was away. That's nice. They may look a little better. The only thing we have available for us is, uh, is the uh, Nature Fuel. We're going to sign that contract and we're going to see him appear there he is with our fuel and there he goes we now have our fuel up next in the tutorial they want us to oh we've got to purchase the fuel trucks Grr. All right, so to get the fuel trucks, we need to go to procurement. And we are going to order six fuel trucks for now. And wait an age and a half for them to get delivered. And here come our five fuel trucks. They will all go to pick up fuel first. Uh, our six fuel trucks. Sorry. Oh, that's just not right. They should line up behind each other. trained most of uh, the fuel from our attached tanks. Uh, so we got plenty of fuel. Alright, now we need to enable that service. So we go to operations, we go to overview, and we're going to enable the Avgas 100 LL fuel service. Avgas is light air, light propeller aircraft. Uh, Jet A1 is fuel for the um, jetliners, the commercial jetliners. But we don't need to worry about that yet. Okay, let's go to the tutorial. We need to refuel five flights. That'll happen relatively fast. Because we have all these people here. And see, we make money refueling. See, the reason to... 
We make that money refueling the aircraft. Great, isn't it? operations and fast forward to the next day because otherwise this is going to take forever <coughs> we're losing a little bit of money but uh, that, that that's okay when you're beginning that's fine um well, we still have like 900,000. Um. Okay. And. Quite a bit, we're gonna see these planes taking off. Uh, I can't start on the next one yet. Because we're waiting for one of these planes to get the hell out. Uh, these X's you see are land that we don't have yet. That feature of the game, I believe, has not been enabled yet. So we don't have the ability to purchase land yet. But I hear they are working on putting that in at, at some point. If we do expand this tutorial airport, it's going to be going this way. And up. It's not going to be going to... Well, Probably will go to the right for the runway or not. Yep, see, there go those. And the aircraft are lining. Oh, that needs to be repaired. So we'll just quickly repair it and done. Yeah, wish you told us needed that. But that's okay. We'll be fine. Set to wait a couple more minutes. There we go. And now we can go back because we're down the small air field. Now we have regional airport. That's correct. We're going to start on that. And you know what? I'm going to make better. I'm going to read the tutorial instructions because some of you are probably going, uh, but. So I'm going to start reading the tutorial instructions for you guys and make it a little easier. And I'm going to. I'm not going to read exactly word for word. I'm going to kind of add live it so that you understand it because. Remember, these guys are from another non-English speaking country. English is not their first language. So I'm going to read it as best I can. So, congratulations, you have now learned the basics of airport operation. We have. You can continue uh, to expand the airfield to earn some more money from from general aviation operations, but at some point you might be interested in processing passenger flights, or also known as uh, commercial flights. If you're interested, the first step will be to build the terminal foundation, make sure that passengers and employees can access it. Uh, Alright, so this would require us to, yeah, we're going to have to do some road building and whatnot. Uh, if you're interested, oh, we've read that already. Okay, uh, make sure that the terminal foundation is dragged adjacent to the aircraft, to an aircraft stand. All right. So, what we're first going to do is the terminal building is going to be over here because I don't want it to interfere with this. So what we're going to do is I am going to build. Come on. A public road. I'm going to build it out to about 
here. And I'm gonna build down to a to about there. And then it'll come over like so. Uh, this whole area is gonna be for bus stops and uh, car parking and whatnot, but uh, I am not gonna dealing with that quite yet. I'm not gonna add a lot in because we're not gonna have 500,000 flights yet. Okay, so. We're going to have bus stops. Do you see these arrows on the bus stops? They have to be facing the road. So I'm going to place one, two, three, four for now. But bus stops are going to be over here. Car drop offs, I'm going to put on the bottom. Uh, where are the car drop offs? Here they go. And car drop-offs. I'm gonna put eight. And because I hate the fact that there's grass in between that, I'm gonna add some sidewalk. And I'm gonna make it go all the way down because I said so. So that way I don't have to worry about that later. I'm going to build that. Uh, I could add lighting here, but I don't want to do that yet. Because you mm, don't care about that right now. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to take some sidewalk and put it here. Uh, like so. And they're going to build that up for us. Now, what you're going to do is so come over to Foundation. Now we're going to come... Uh, I need two more things to sidewalk. I wish it wouldn't do that to me. Fine. Go. I'll even it out a little bit for these people. Oh! I almost forgot something. Uh, we need crosswalks. Because otherwise these passengers are not going to be able to get across. So we are putting crosswalks there. I can build the structure foundation. We're gonna do this like we're gonna do it like that for now. And then it's gonna come like this and security. And that's basically going to be security. Security is going to be right over here. And then I'm going to come over here.
He needs to be 17? Okay, fine. And if you haven't guessed what this is for, this is going to be the exit. This hallway is not going to be secure. The exit's going to be up here. And the terminal is going to be here, and it's going to be by 12. Alright, I'm going to move on with the next step. Uh... Oh, I need to place a door in the wall, so let's do that. Doors, we are going to use the large doors. And I like to line them up with the... with the crosswalks. And I like to put three like so. Nope. 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 Never mind. Now I need to put a wall there. This is stupid. Now I need to... Okay, there we go. Let's go back to the doors. And there we go. Let's go back to the tutorial, see what it wants us It's gonna make us wait until that's built, isn't it? This is the tutorial series, so we're gonna wait however long it decides like to take. A new product is what? Okay, never mind, I know. That's... See, look at all the spam. Goodbye. Uh, this is going to take forever, so I'm going to see if I can get a better... I really wish I could get a better contract, but I don't think I can. No, I can't get a better contract. This is so it's going to take us a while. I wish there was a way to fast forward this. But, uh, that part of the tutorial is done, so let's move on. Uh, terminal passenger flow. Okay, this is just telling us... Alright, so now that the outside... Uh, now... Now the, uh, passenger, you know, intake is taken care of. Here, of, uh, we need to... What it's saying is uh, we need to focus on the inside of the terminal. It's the, out it's the outermost portion of the terminal, you know, where passengers go to check in, they they uh, give their bags to the check-in desks, and they go through security. After security is the inside of the terminal.
Alright. So, uh, now the, uh, outside portion of the terminal's built, we have to move to the inside. Uh, in order for passengers to reach their flights, or flight, uh, they must pass through the terminal. Yeah. They will first enter the departure area where they can check in to their flights. Yeah, I just explained that, but okay. Uh, they must pass security in order to enter the secure perimeter of the terminal. Once the flight arrives, they will board using the boarding desk. Okay. Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? But unfortunately, we're out of time for this episode. And so we'll have to get to it next time. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. This is the second part of our tutorial series for the airport CEO. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And I'll see you all next time.